So late this afternoon, the mother of both of Jean talked to the media and members of her son's church during a vigil. Like many in the community, she wants answers about the shooting. Our Yona Govino continues our team coverage now outside of the South Side Flats where the shooting happened. Yona. Dan, one of the biggest questions swirling right now is why? Why did he lose his life? As you mentioned, Jean died here in his apartment. You can see right behind me. Uh, actually, outside of his doorstep, there is a growing memorial that's been set up. And today at his home church, family and friends gathered to honor his legacy. It's the sound of heartbreak and hope. Both of Jean's friends and family leaned on each other for support. From their sadness emerged memories of joy. Both of them loved to eat and he ate everything we ever cooked. <laughs> As a church member at Dallas West Church of Christ, Jean was a worship leader and a Bible study teacher. Co workers from Price Waterhouse Coopers in Dallas say he inspired them. This world has lost a light in the dark. <laughs> Jean left St. Lucia at 19 to study at Harding University in Arkansas. Campus minister Todd Gentry was his dad away from home. I never thought I'd be here. But in a short life, he lived life. Bo's mother, Allison, spoke last. She said her son would bring students from Harding University back to St. Lucia to help the sick and serve others. She's proud of the life her son lived in his 26 years. I am thankful to God that he gave me that son. He gave me a good boy. Thank you very much. And Botham Jean would have turned 27 years old at the end of September in just about three weeks. His funeral, meanwhile, is scheduled for this Thursday. Live in downtown Dallas, Yona Govino, CBS 11 News.